Hi, I'm Zach Mieza, a regular guy who likes DIY. Let me show you how easy it is to make this A-frame shelf. It's great for your bedroom or your lounge. Show it off to your guests. These are the materials I used. I used two pieces of 44 by 44 by 1.8, two pieces of 44 by 44 by 3 meter, and then two boards of 305 by 21 by 1.8. And to dress the wood, I used the Fire Earth Woodworks range. It's a water-based stain sealer, easy to apply with a brush and tray. I made use of some wood glue, wood filler, masking tape, 4x75mm screws, they come with a bit, a set of 75mm butt hinges, and two meters of formal cord. And to cut the timber, I use my mitre saw. It makes repetitive cuts so much easier and it's simple to use. If you don't have one of these, use a jigsaw, one of the first tools I had. If you don't have a jigsaw, take the cutting list down to your local builders. They'll cut everything to size and then we just assemble. It makes life easier. And the tools that I'm gonna be using is a drill driver, a random orbital sander with a 120 grit paper, measuring tape, a pencil, a Stanley knife, a combination square, a six mil wood bit, and a screw pilot. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my uprights. They're 1.5 meters long. Uh, I've got a three meter, so I need to cut it in half. We're gonna measure out the 1.5, make your mark, pop it into my mitre saw, make the cut. So there you have it. Now we have two pieces of 1.5. And the next thing now is I'm gonna make these support struts. There's five of them, don't forget the top one, at 305. And for that, I'm gonna use my 1.8 meter piece, measure out my 305s, and make the cuts. Alternatively, you can take it down to Builder's Warehouse, they'll cut it for you. There you go, last one cut. But before we can assemble our ladders, I need to make some mitre cuts. And for that, you can measure it out using combination square, but we're going back to grade nine maths. I like to use my mitre saw. Boom, 20 degrees, done. So I'm gonna take my timber, got my 20 degrees set. There you go, made my cut. See it sits flat, nice and straight. And we're gonna repeat the same for the other side. Perfect. Now let's do exactly the same for the other upright. Got my uprights, I need to make all my struts evenly spaced at 300. Take your tape measure, start from the highest point of your cut and we'll measure out the 300s. You can either measure out each one and mark increments of 30, 60, 90, 120 and repeat the same on the other side. Now that everything is evenly spaced and lined up, I'm gonna mark my centers down my ladder for my screws. Making use of a screw pilot, I'm gonna drill my holes nice and easy. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. I find it easy if you just slap the wood glue just on the inside and then everything will squeeze together. Now I'm gonna take my screws, I've got my 4x75s. So I just hold it down. And we'll repeat on the other side. Now, it's nice and easy. We've already got our marks. We can line up the next one, apply your wood glue, and fasten with your screws. And it's exactly the same for all of the rungs as we move down the shelf. Now we've got our one leg. Let's get onto the second one. Exactly the same thing. Let's get to it. There's the second one now done. We're now gonna join the two together. Take care to leave a little gap for your butt hinge. We'll place the butt hinges roughly about 20 mils from the edge. Just a rough eyeball. And they come with these screws and we fasten them. So start by fixing the one side and then we'll fix the other side together. Once you're done with the one side, just line it up, make sure your A-frame is straight and then you can do the other side. You got your butt hinges in, and that's what it looks like when it stands. I'm now gonna fill in the holes with my wood filler. So we've got a nice pine wood filler. Just use your finger to apply. Just pull off any excess. Make sure it's nice and flat. Let's just leave that to dry and get started with our shelves. We've got four shelves. We've got two 1.8 meter boards. 
Luckily, I got you on design. We only have to make two cuts. So our first one, a meter. Next measurement, the 1.2. I'm gonna call on my trusted friend, the jigsaw. Always make sure you line up the pointed edge with your line. And then we'll cut the other one. Don't worry about the little burrs, we'll sand these all off at the end. There we go. We've got our four pieces. Gonna give these a quick sand. I'm using a random orbital sander with a 120 grit paper. We're gonna give the complete board a sand, which is gonna help when it comes to staining and sealing. Now that all the shelves are sanded, let me get my A-frame and give that a good sanding. Now down to the staining. Got my fired earth, water-based, makes life a lot easier. Mix my stain into my tray. You need to pick a side of the wood that you think has a bit of character. I, I like pieces of wood with a little bit of knots, a um, little bit of unevenness. It just gives it a nice look when the shelf is done and the stain really comes through. Just make sure you brush with the grain of the wood. Nice gentle strokes. Make sure you're applying it evenly. Now that we've finished staining our boards, they came out beautifully, they've dried nicely. And look how the wood texture came out, it's beautiful. We have our A-frame. As you can see, it's still loose to open. We're gonna stain it, but we're gonna put a stay straight afterwards to keep it from opening too much. Perfect. Now the A-frame is dry to the touch, we're gonna go make our stay. What a stay is, we're gonna take our formal cord, drill a hole on this side, tie a knot, measure out roughly a meter, drill another hole, we'll tie a knot. It'll stop it from opening too much. I found with the rope, they end up getting these little flared bits. So a little trick I use is just a little bit of tape, tear a piece off, and we just make a little cone on the top. We're just gonna thread this through, and we pull it to roughly a meter, thread it through the other side. Now I just tie a knot, I'm gonna tie what we call a double back and it's gonna hold in place. Your knot doesn't have to be neat because it's gonna be hidden by the shelf. We'll cut off that piece of excess at the end. The stays in, let's put in our shelves. Well, there you have it. A-frame shelf, complete, just needing your decorations. Remember, everything that I used is available at your local builders. Get to builders, get it done.